Hello everybody, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and today I'm solving some more Huntinality. We're doing the Whataburger puzzle. It's the last puzzle that we have from round one with the exception of the meta. Let's take a look here. Whataburger. We have a crossword puzzle. There's spaces here. And then we have all of our clues, including some links. Looks like a fairly standard crossword puzzle. I'm sure that it isn't. Oh, a fishing pole's probably a rod. Uh, okay, so these links are both URLs. What you might do at a Thanksgiving dinner. Overeat? What about 19? Request in Lord's Prayer. Isn't that daily bread? Shenanigans, yeah, I agree, Stephen. I'm, I was pretty sure daily bread was correct. So we have daily pie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight this, and I'm gonna highlight high. Uh, 20 across could be space filling, says Steven. Let's see what's 20 across. Like a Hilbert curve. That would mean this entire, well, a lot, a lot of the ending is changed. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take, that was Steven's guess for space filling here. 39 bread winner. Oh yeah, if we're, if we're replacing the go. Good find on that one. Uh, Merlin Mew. Shenanigans. So we're changing bread. Uh, it does actually look like that, doesn't it? Well, we we changed filling up here. I don't think this was space bread. Steven says 41 across is dental filling. Okay, so another filling. So we have a bread and a filling, I think, in each of these rows. Okay, so our dental filling answer, we've only replaced two letters again. Uh, 49 across is bread basket with more shenanigans. The Great Plains to the U.S. I think 68 is I found in... It's found in t his clue. It's error. And then what do we have here? Backfilling? To backfill is to refill with the material dug out. So a way to get rid of a hole that you dug, I guess, is to backfill it. Animal noise in this video. Well, okay, we gotta check out the video. That is an adorable creature. What sound do you make, buddy? I love it. All right, sorry, we're not doing puzzles anymore. I'm just gonna look up videos of this creature. <laughs> Children's game with freeze or laser variants, that's tag. And 92 is where to find the Maid of the Mist. I know that one, that's Niagara. This is looking a lot like white bread. Civet relatives. Civet, what are civets? Is this another cute animal? Aw, it is a cute animal. Hello, What? what are you related to? 78 is filling in what you're doing to this grid yes we are filling it in oh but gosh there are lots of shenanigans for this one huh yeah Jeanette is an animal uh it does look a lot like that civet so here's a Jeanette um we have these strange across entries here that where either the word bread or filling was replaced by these other strange letters do these do these match up like lengthwise we have six letters up here six letters there four letters in the second one so i'm guessing these letters are going into these spaces in some way ah i think i see yeah i see exactly what we're doing oh this is cool this is cool okay so we have a bread the bread interestingly enough is always two letters so we have daily bread um bread winner bread basket and then over here we have white bread so I'm pretty sure that those breads are going in these orange spaces for each line. We have P and I here. We have G-O here. And then I think that the filling parts are what goes in between the bread. So in between P-I, we have A-N-I-N. -N. That gives us panini. We have gyro here. And then we have Reuben and sloppy Joe. So now I'm guessing all we have to do is take the numbers one to five to give us P-O. B, O, Y, Po Boy, which is another type of sandwich, I believe. The answer is Po Boy. Waluigi thought his twist on classic sandwiches would be well received, but Wario didn't seem to agree. Bro, what's in these? Something just tastes wrong. Waluigi explained that he had added a dash of his homemade wasabi watercress watermelon sauce. That actually sounds not bad. Now that we're done with the crossword meta, Let's get to the round meta. I agree, Dragon Engineer. The wallet meta. Years of being overlooked have colored Waluigi's experiences with the industry, but it will soon be his turn. However, after he identifies what he must change, he'll have a big question to answer. How will he pay for the project? So we have six 
There may be clues here. Notably, we have six other puzzles. And then we have a bunch of numbers around the outside here with various colors. I think, I think a good start is going to be to start trying to solve these clues and connect them in some way to our previous answers. So we also have six different colors here. So I'm guessing we're gonna get a color and a puzzle answer from each of these somehow. And then maybe these numbers are indexes. That's my best brainstorm, just kind of glancing at the puzzle. A mystery character. Oh, is this Mrs. White from Clue? Or it could also be Mr. Green. Oh, we also have Peacock over here. So perhaps each of our answers has part of an answer to this, and they have a clear color associated with them. So like Peacock would probably be blue. Team, the Pittsburgh Pirates possibly. They're black and gold. And then part of an online tool suite. Um, character I think is Poe, says Stephen. So the, the British, oh, British children's character could be Poe. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is Michelangelo. Oh, adolescent crime fighter. Peacock is probably blue. Yeah, Michelangelo's orange. Sheets. Is Google Sheets green? Because it's, I mean, it's green. <laughs> and and Pirates is, is gotta be gold then. Poe is the fourth Teletubby. Okay, I didn't know Teletubbies was a British show, but Poe is red, okay. Rarity is a My Little Pony character. Oh, thanks for finding that one. Krillis, let's look up Rarity. Rarity is white. Okay, so now I'm guessing all we have to do is index into each of our answers. Uh, so the fourth character of the white answer, which is medium rarity, is an I. The red answer is Poe Boy, and we have seven. Okay, that's not good. We've colored Waluigi's experience. It'll soon be his turn. Are we turning something? After he identifies what he must change, he'll have a big question to answer. These are all parts of sets, which are identifiable by colors. I'm not sure what you mean, Steven. Parts of sets? Oh, like, yeah, okay, I agree. So like, the Teletubbies are identifiable by colors, so are the ponies. Krilla says, since industry is mentioned in the flavor text, maybe the company names of these properties are relevant? That's possible. Are there other items of those sets that we might need to use? Um, but how do we know what other item to use? Steven says purple is Waluigi's color. Do all the sets have a purple member? Ah, yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. So of course there's Plum. The purple My Little Pony appears to be Twilight Sparkle. The purple Teletubby is Twinkie Winky. I don't know how to find a purple baseball team. The first thing that came up is the Colorado Rockies. What's the purple app in Google Suite? It to be forms. All right, let's try indexing into these new purple items. So the white purple item <laughs> is Twilight Sparkles. That gives us an L. Blue is associated with plum, which gives us a U. Oh no, where are we going with this? <laughs> Orange is Donatello, so an E, O, W. Okay, so I did start this in the wrong place, which is fine. I'm... All right, and so if we just choose a different number to start with, we get Waluigi's Pension, which answers the question of how will he pay for this project? So let's check that as our answer. That is correct. We have Waluigi's Pension. So we're on to round two of the Huntinality puzzle hunt here. Um, and there's some story. We read the prologue and the story for the first round of the puzzle hunt. Wah, that's it. Waluigi jumps to his feet. My pension. I can still fund my next business with Waluigi's pension. Not everyone gets to be a green plumber with a luxurious, sometimes haunted mansion. I can't be the only disenfranchised Nintendo character out there. How many have also been passed over in favor of Fire Emblem character number 50? I'll show them all by making my own better Smash game. Today marks the birth of Big Bash siblings. So let's open up Amazing here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff for Amazing. Cough, I know it may not seem like it, but I'm in good form. And even if I'm not the very best at chasing all my dreams, the ones I don't catch can help me sort out where to start. Wheeze. So, maze, numbers inside the maze. Here's all of our images with the words that come next to the maze. Okay, so as we go through this maze, we get 854, 869, 
386, 669, 423, and 470. I, these look like they're all a letter off, right? So like followed is missing an E. Slow spoken is missing an S. Oh, do we need, these could all be R's. Sklypes. I'm going to roll with Sklypes Pokedex idea and see if I can, like, I don't know, maybe we need the Pokemon first to be able to, I don't know, link to these images somehow. Ice cream one, move the first letter to the end. Okay, so we're doing a transformation on each of these. So yeah, this is adding R to the front of everything. Um, apothecary, right? We're basically taking the first part of the word, the first, what, five letters and moving them to the end. So the Pokédex is a list of Pokémon, from my understanding. Like I've said, I'm not super familiar with Pokémon, and they give them each a number. Um, so this 854, which is the first number we passed in the maze, is Sinistee. And I noticed that Form was bolded in the flavor text, so I'm wondering if Evolved Forms is in some way going to play a role in this. Guy Eating. Okay, the Guy Eating's here. Add an M to the second to last position. Thank you, Sklypes. No idea what's going on with this one. Is this a Caesar shift? Um, blueberry, yeah. So it looks like we're rotating 16 times in the alphabet here. Pokemon 869 is Alcremi, which is ice cream. Okay, that's interesting. 869. 479 is Rotom, which can turn into a washing machine. Okay. So there's definite connections between some of these Pokemon and these images. All right, let's look up a few more of these Pokemon. And uh, yeah, we, we can keep working on how to translate all of these as well. 741 is Oriconio, which is known for its dancing. Oh shoot, there's more. <laughs> I forgot about this completely. <laughs> okay, so this is this is gonna be important. Sklype says Morpico. The Pokemon changes its form, alternating between its full belly mode and hungry mode at the end of each turn. Okay, so yeah, full belly guy looks right there. Cherim has an overcast form and a sunshine form. All right, so we've placed all our Pokemon with the images. Midnight transformation, add O to the third position. Okay, the flavor text clues the ones I didn't catch. The ones I didn't catch can help me sort out where to start. Okay, so you're saying the ones I didn't pass in the maze. That's interesting. Um, I think these ones are all just being read backwards. So this is T, speed, Fans. Um, maybe just double the last letter. Yeah, double the last letter, it looks like. B, cell, and cross. All right, so let's, um, I'm gonna bring up paint. So let's draw a line through the um, actual path of the maze. And yeah, there's a bunch that we don't go through. So I'm wondering if I maybe just read them. I don't know if order matters for these or not. Like if I read them top to bottom, left to right, possibly. So we have Light Scouter says 505 is Watchdog. I'm finding 258 is Mudkip. Spin a rack for 167. 530 is Excadrill, says Zamaj. 267 is Beautify, says Sklypes. Lastly, Spirit says 328 is Trap Inch. All right, so do the first letters spell something? Fratatm Orlatornibes. The ones that I don't catch can help me sort out where to start. But I find it hard to believe that they would be able to encode a message in the Pokédex in order. Um, sort column M. So this gives transform. Okay, they did. They did encode it in order. That's impressive. I wouldn't have immediately thought that would be possible. Because like, what if there wasn't another R Poke- Like, what if the R Pokémon was before the T and there wasn't another one until like all the way up here in the 200s? Transform. Battle Tower. Battle Tower. Ah, oh, I know what we're doing. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is exciting. So we're starting with Battle Tower, but we're gonna go through the maze now. We're gonna go through these Pokemon in this order. So I've put in the lengths that were given there from this Pokeball image. I think what we're doing is we're starting with Battle Tower. We're going through the maze in order, applying these transformations that we found to this word each time. All right, so let's take a look here. We're starting with Battle Tower. Now we have the Sinisty Pokemon. What was the Sinisty transformation? We removed all of the T's. So let's remove the T's from Battle Tower. We have Bale, Ower, which one was Ice Q? This was removing all the letters of ice. So we have AL, remove the E. OW, remove the E. RB, 
Now we have Toxtricity, uh, remove low. Okay, good, we have low in there and we're left with ARB. So this enumeration we see is to make sure that we're on the right track. And now Morpico. Morpico is we add an M as the second to last letter. Okay, so we have AKBMB. Flambe, add W as the fifth letter. Okay, looks good. Is that 10 letters? It is. Finally, we get to Rotom. We're gonna take this, we're gonna plug it into ROT16, and let's paste this in. We get Marathon Race. Wow. Submit. Marathon Race. Weezing has joined the battle. All right, that's cool. That is a really fun puzzle. All right, well, let's read through this story. They are at an impasse. It didn't dawn on him until his guests arrived that Waluigi would need to be able to speak Pokemon, or whatever this guy spoke. Guy? Guys? Wario emerged from his living quarters, a degenerate man cave he branded as the Wario Zone, and popped into the kitchen. For some reason, as he entered the kitchen, he pretended that he was riding some sort of vehicle pulled by an imaginary chain chomp he was barking orders to. He tugged on his imaginary chain chomp four times. That feels strange. Maybe that's just some interesting world building, uh, or maybe that has something to do with meta puzzle. We'll find out l much later, I'm sure. Wheezing, wheezing, wheezing. Wario made a clicking sound with his tongue. I'm sorry to hear that, bro, for sure. The economy has seen better days. <laughs> Waluigi felt his jaw drop. Brother, you can understand it, er, them? He says, every fleeting moment of my existence is one of agony and despair. Long gone are the salad days when I was but a simple, single-bodied coughing. Waluigi was mulling over how to proceed. I wasn't planning on letting this guy into my game, but am I really going to pile one more problem onto this guy's plate? I would shake your hand had nature been kind enough to let me evolve actual useful body parts instead of this sentient eldritch tumor that looks like me and brings me immeasurable pain. They have some great story here. We have eight more in round two and then round three. All right, well, that's it for the stream. Until next time, everybody, have a great day, and as always, happy escaping. Thank you.